Hello, 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 everyone. It is Thursday night, and um, <clears throat> we are going to make some bows. So how are you guys all doing tonight? Okay, so um, I want to hear from you guys. What is it that you struggle the most with? Um, if you guys can let me know that. I would appreciate it. Let me know. Is it the placement? Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I have it up here so I can see your comments. Let's see here. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, hello, hello, hello. It's a little close because I'm going to... Um, Pan the camera down so you guys. What am I seeing that on? Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to. Um, sorry about that. Okay. Picking bows to use and making them. Okay. Um, hey, Jackie, how are you? I think for me, Linda, let me back up a little bit. I feel like the camera's right here in my face. Um, for me, I kind of tend to stick to one bow. Um, more than the other. Um, I think you kind of find a favorite bow and you tend to use that one a lot. At least that's what I do. Um, I don't know what everyone else does. Hey, Maria. Um, so, hey, Peggy. Um, I know a lot of people struggle with the placement of the wires. Um, you know, the, the helping hand wires and that kind of stuff. So, um, I pulled some bows together. Hey, Peggy, how are you? Pulled some bow stuff and some bows, and um, I'm going to use pipe cleaners when I do my bows. Hey, Teresa, how you doing? Hello. Now, you guys know I don't normally use the pipe cleaners. I normally use the 24-gauge wire, but so you guys can see. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Dana. Um, so you guys can see the wires better. I'm going to use the um, pipe cleaners. I think it'll help you guys understand how to use the wires and that kind of stuff a little easier. So if you have any questions as we go along, just let me know. Um, I'm going to turn this down now so you guys can see the probo. So let me know how that angle is. And like I said, for the sake of, hey Dana, um, for the sake of demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use pipe cleaners um, twisted together. Hey Delise, how are you? Now, like I said, you normally don't use these, but I'm using these so that you guys can really see where the wires are and how to place them and that kind of stuff. I feel like that's a little too close. How is that view? Hey, Deborah, I know, raining again, right? Raining again. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to take and I'm going to put two pipe cleaners together. And how to put the pipe cleaners on the frame. Oh, you mean on the work frame, how to put pipe cleaners on? I can definitely show you guys that also. Okay, all right, so the first bow I'm going to make is the Damon bow. The Damon bow is made on row C of the Pro Bow. I hope you guys can see that okay. It's made on row C of the Pro Bow. Now, I made bigger um, dowels for mine because I like them taller. It's just me. I kind of tend to, you know... Hi, Rosalia. Hey, Pat. Um, I don't know. I tweak everything I get. I don't know why. It's just me. Okay, so the Damon bow, you use three one and a half inch or four one, well, three one and a half inch um, ribbons and three two and a half inch ribbons. Okay, now for the Damon bow, is this too close? Or do you like this view? Let me know. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Judy. 
Let me know what you guys think. If I need to back up a little bit or do something different, tell me what you think. All right, so for the Damon bow, you take three one and a half inch ribbons and you pull them all at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I have my three ribbons and they're stacked on top of each other. Okay, I'm just going to cut them, make them even. Hello, Monica. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Cindy. All right. Then what you do is you normally take like about a thumb's length and that's where you gather it. And then you would take your wire. Now, normally, like I said, oh, I know the Sam's ribbon is great. You normally would use a um, pearl. I don't Oh, Michigan grandma. No, no. Okay. Um, and you would normally use wire. Okay. But I'm using this so you guys can see. And you just wrap it around here real good. Okay. And so then you have one ribbon facing up and one ribbon facing down. Hey, Dulcie. Well, welcome. I'm glad you found me. Hey, Patty. So what I'm going to do for this bow is I'm going to take it. I'm going to wrap it around the center peg. For those of you who aren't familiar with a pro bow, this is your fender. These are called fingers. So this is your center, and then you have fingers on the right and on the left, one through six. Okay. All right. So then I'm just going to wrap it around here. Okay. And you take your wire and you wrap it around. And this top wire, you want to do it clockwise. You don't want to do it counterclockwise. You want to wrap it around clockwise. Okay, can you see that? So it's just wrapped around there. And then you're going to tuck these little tails in. And then the bottom one, this bottom one, there's a little nail here on your board. Can you guys see that little nail right here? Okay. You take that and you don't want it all the way down to the bottom. You take that and you wrap it around that nail just once and then you tuck it under your board okay now this is the first wire the first wire really is just to get your bow started okay so that is what the first row the first wire is for okay now this one i'm not really sure we don't need a helping hand wire right now but i will add it Okay, so you have all three of your bows stacked together, or your ribbons, okay? Then what you do, you have your ribbon, you want to make sure it's stacked nicely. You want to kind of tilt it up. And this, Regina calls this bottoms up, okay? You put your finger underneath there, and you hold on to it, and then you just gather it together, okay? Then you stack it right here on this. And what that bottoms up does, hey Kathy, is it brings the pretty side of the ribbon facing out. And that's what you want. And then you just take it and wrap it around this finger. Okay. Then you do that again. You put your finger there. You gather it. You bottoms up. You twist it. And then you wrap it around this peg. Okay. So, and what's nice about the Pro Bow, you can let go and your bow's not going anywhere, okay? So, I don't even have to hold it. It's going to hold itself. So, then you just keep doing that for this is the Demon Bow. And you then do it again. You put your finger there. Hey, Vicki, how are you? You gather it together. You twist. And then you put it on the next finger. Does anybody have any questions so far? How many people got your pro bows and are doing it with me? Hey, Carmel. Oh, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And you want to make sure all your ribbons are nicely together. And again, same thing. You're going to gather it and then twist. Pull your ribbon and wrap it around that peg. Okay. And you're just kind of keeping that nicely stacked. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so now this is kind of getting a little big here. So what we're going to do, this is what's called 
Remember, the first wire is just to get your bow started. This second wire is called the helping hand wire. And what this does is when you start to get a lot of things here, it'll slip up and down. So what that does is it holds it in place, okay? So what you want to do is you want to put your helping hand wire, let me move it up this way a little bit. You want to put your helping hand wire in between here, okay? You want to slip it in between there and you want to put it to the right of the peg, okay? Then you just bring it through, fold your wire in half, and then you're going to slide that right to the back. You see how I did that? It was right here. You're sliding it to the back of this peg. And then you just want to do one twist. Okay? Oh, no, Stephen. You have to go see a surgeon. Ugh. Well, Stephen, make sure you let us know what's going on with that. I will definitely be praying for you. Okay, so now you have one wire up, one wire down. Okay? Then you just keep doing the same thing. These dowels are a little rough. The same thing you were doing. So for the Damon bow, you're going to do it on row one, two, three. So we still have some more to go. So you gather it, bottoms up, and the next finger. Okay. And then you do the same thing over here. So you gather it, twist, and then on here. Okay, so now this is all this ribbon that we need. We did the center peg, and we did fingers one, two, and three on each side. All right, so now we're going to tie this off and cut it off because we don't need this anymore. Hey, Leah. So you gather it and twist and then I'm going to take that helping hand wire I'm going to pull the top wire down the bottom wire up and twist just one time if you twist a bunch of times it gets too bulky in here and you don't want to do that so then I'm just going to take this ribbon and what I like to do is I like to fold it in half and I hold it against this peg over here and then I just dovetail. I hold my scissors against this and then I dovetail. Be careful you don't cut your fingers. I've done that before. Okay? And then I'm going to take those and I'm going to tuck them up there. So that's the first part of the Damon book. Does anybody have any questions so far on that? Anybody not understand what I'm doing? Any questions? Okay, is anybody doing this along with me? I know these are kind of curling because I'm playing with them, but the wire wouldn't do that. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three separate one and a half or two and a half inch ribbons and I'm going to do those in a single. I'm just going to pull them singly. Correct, you don't count the center ones. Sometimes on some bows, you use the center. Other bows, you do not use the center. For this one, you do use the center bow. And if you don't, hey, Esmeralda, if you're not using the center peg, just pull it out so you know. This board, I put it in my um, comments. I have an affiliate link for Pro Bow the Hand. In fact, I will add that again so you guys have it. Okay, so that is my <clears throat> affiliate link for the board, and you can just go right on there. I think the board is $9.99, I believe it is. Um, so you just go on there, and I'm going to pin that to the top so you guys have it. And you can order it directly from there. Okay, so then what you do is you take your 2.5 inch ribbon, this is driving me crazy, and you measure it out to the... I'm measuring it out to the C peg, and then that's where you start, and you just gather it, and start it there. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and put it in yet, like, um, I'm just going to wait, because we're doing all these singly, 
So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to wrap it around that finger. So the tail's here, the loop's here. And I'm going to take it and gather it. And bottoms up. And I'm going to wrap it around. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Around this finger over here. So now we are on finger four. Okay. And then I'm going to bottoms up. And now I'm going to go ahead and tie it off because we don't, I'm not going to be using it anymore. And I'm going to cut it off. Oh, thank you for sharing. And again, I put my fingers against there and I just cut. Okay. So we started with the tail here, then a loop, a loop, and then the tail here. I'm doing well. Thanks, Kelly. All right. So then we're going to use another two and a half inch ribbon. Okay, just going to dovetail the ends to start this. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay, we're going to measure it out to the C. Okay, where this peg is. We're going to gather it. Put it in here. I'm going to hold it against that right there. Do you guys need it zoomed in a little more? Does that help? Okay. And wrap it around this finger. Okay. Bottoms up. Gather it. Oh, thank you, Natalie. And twist. Oops. I lost that one. Okay, twist and put around that peg. You guys are awful quiet. Do you have any questions? Anything I can help you with? Okay, you're going to do the same thing. Oh no, I hope everything went okay with your surgery. Okay, and then pull the top wire down, the bottom wire up, and one twist. And then again, I fold it in half. I put my um, scissors against here and I do the dovetail. Let me see if I can get that a little straighter. Whoop. Okay. All right. How is that? Is that okay? All right. So we have one more ribbon to go. And this is what's called the Damon Bow. Okay, and this is a Sam's Club ribbon also. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to take it and I'm going to dovetail the ends. Oh, that can be so painful. Again, take it to the C gather it together. Now you see how this ribbon has two sides. So that's what I'm saying to you guys. When you do that bottoms up, it brings the printed side or the nice side facing the front of the bow maker. Because if you don't do that, then it won't it won't have that. So I'm going to measure it to there. I'm going to pinch it. Okay. Put it in there. Hold it against this back here. Wrap it around finger six. Pinch and twist. Pinch and twist. Okay, and then I'm going to tie it off. And again, I'm just going to cut it off right here. Okay. So that is the Damon bow. Now, what you want to do is, what, now some people cut these helping hand wires off because you don't need them anymore. But what I do is I twist mine together and I use that to um, attach it to my wreath. Yes, you can. Absolutely, Brenda. Yep. 
You mean using one one ribbon? Yep, you can do that as well. Okay, so you've got that done. The helping hand wires are twisted together. Hey, Diane. I'm just going to move those over to the side. Now we're going to take this wire off of this peg. And all I do is just grab it, untwist it. Now, when you untwist this, this is very important. I always stick my finger down here and make sure that you didn't miss one piece of wire. Hi, Nancy. Um because it'll mess up your bow. So you wanna make sure and do that. Let me make sure that fired. Okay. All right, can you type live again, whoever just typed live? Hey, Jeffrey, hey, Connie. All right, so you make sure, you wanna make sure that's all off of there. Then you take your wire that was underneath it there and untwist that. And then, hey Penny. And then I take that. Now, you want to pull this as tight as you can pull it. You see that squeezing the bow together? And then I twist these two together. Okay. And do you see how the bows everything's kind of lined up right here. You want to kind of see, keep it centered and lined up right there. Okay, and then I just twist these two together. Hey Shirley, how are you? Yeah, if you guys could share this, I would much appreciate it. Okay, now the easiest thing to do... Oh no, Peggy. Ugh. A lot of surgeries going on. The easiest way to get your bow off of your um, pro bow of the hand is you just take this center peg out. And then the bow will just lift right out. Okay. All right. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. So when you take it off of your bow maker, this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Uh, you didn't, yeah, you have to twist it counterclockwise. That's important. Okay, so now we're going to put it onto our fluff box. Okay. So, and the fluff box is just a heavy box. Thanks, Stephen. It's just a heavy box. You can buy these at Probo the Hand. Um, she does show you how to make these yourself they do cost a little bit to ship because they're so heavy all i did was i just took a 12 by 12 bottom i put heavy um old tiles in here like old kitchen tiles and then just put a lid on it and added the eye hook and the nail okay so now when you put your bow on the fluff box you want to kind of put it under the eye hook you want to lift up your bow and then wrap this wire around this nail so it holds it in place okay let me zoom out a little bit lift up a little bit okay oh thanks natalie all right so then you just start fluffing your bow now it might not be quite as tight with the pipe cleaners um but when you are fluffing you really kind of want to tug on these and get them where you want them to be and you start from right at the base of the bow and kind of move them around. All right. So we have a tail over here, a loop over here. And this time I'm going to put the tail over here and the loop over here. And you're just going to keep going back and forth like that. Okay. I think with the I did. I watched um, a little bit. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing. She's amazing. She is really amazing. Okay, so that's that. And then we have our three tails. Okay. Oh, hey, Rhonda, how are you? And then you're just going to separate your tails out. Look, I love this ribbon. Look at this. It's double sided. It's silver on one side and gold on the other. Don't you love that? Oh. That was from... Um, Costco. 
Head injection and back. Hold on, let me read that. <laughs> oh, Rhonda, I hope you're doing okay. Hey, Jackie. All right, and then you're just going to take now, and now we're going to separate these. Remember, we pulled three together. So I have the gold tail over here, the pink in the middle here, and then the cream and gold here. So what I want to try and do is not have like the tail next to the loop, okay? So I'm just going to separate them out. All right. And like I said, you can really yank on this. I know, isn't that pretty? Okay, then you're going to take your next set, and you don't want to do the same thing. So I'm going to use the gold here. And pull the pink over here and the cream over here. I think it's just moving around a lot because the pipe cleaners don't hold it as sturdy as the um, wires do. Okay, and then the last one here. Pull the gold here cream here and the pink there. Hey Gracie, how are you? So now we just have one side of this bow. Um, oh, I know, right? Ugh. Yes, the type of ribbon really does. It has to be wired, has to be decent ribbon. Um, so that's half the bow and look at that already. Doesn't that, it's, it's beautiful already and that's just half of it. So now I'm just going to turn my fluff box around and we're going to do the same thing over here. Now this time I'm going to put the loop here and the streamer here, the tail here. Okay, and same thing here. Oh, thanks Gracie. If you could share this with your friends, I would appreciate it. So this time we're going to put the loop here. And this is moving around a lot on me. Normally it doesn't with the wire. I think the pipe cleaners don't hold it as sturdy um, because normally it doesn't move this much. Okay. All right. Now we're starting on the upper tier with the three. So we have the gold here. So I'm going to bring the cream over here and the gold over here. Okay. And then again, you can really um, pull on them. All right, and then this time I'm going to pull the gold over here, the cream in the middle, and the pink here. And then you kind of want to put your fingers in there and really kind of separate your bows too. Hey, SD, how are you? And we have one more here to do. So I'm going to pull the gold here pink here and the cream here. Now this bow, because we did the three, um, hey Kelly, the three bows together or the three one and a half inches together, it really kind of makes it a, what I call a top heavy bow. It makes the top really full and it makes the bottom I mean, it's still full, but not near as full as it would be. Okay? So that's your Damon bow. Okay? So then we'll just take it off of here. And there you go. Okay? So you see what I mean? The top's really, really full. And then the bottom, you know, is full, but not, not quite as full. I kind of like the opposite because... It makes it, I don't know, it makes it look, I don't know, more finished. I, I don't know, it's just me. But I like this bow, but, you know. All right, so that is that one. So do you guys, thanks, Stephen. Do you guys have any questions so far? Anything um, I can show you a little better? Every, anything I can go over a little better with you? Do you want to do another bow? Okay. All right, what do you guys think? All right, so that's the demon bow.
I'm going to set this to the side here. All right, and I'm going to set my fluff box over here. Let me step that away. Otherwise, I'll knock it down. Okay. All right. Let me get my bow maker out again. Okay. All right. So that was the demon bow. This time, um, we're going to do the Chateau Bow. Now, the Chateau Bow is basically the opposite of the Damon Bow, where the um, Chateau, where the Damon Bow, you pull three together at the top, and then the bottom three are um, single. The Chateau Bow, the top is single, and the bottom you, throw, you pull together, okay? So I'm going to use the same ribbons so you guys can see. Um, the smallest one is you use these pegs here. And I can demonstrate one of those bows, too, if you want me to, Vicki. Oh, yeah, Stephen, you can use a ton, a ton, a ton of ribbon. Um, it's totally up to you. You can... Really, it's the bows are whatever you want them to be. The wire I normally use, Vicki, is a 24 gauge. Um, a lot of people use 26 gauge, but I tend to break it. So I usually use a 24 or a 22. So whichever, you know, you prefer, I kind of go with the, um, you know, either, either one of those. All right. So again, for demonstration purposes only. We're going to use the pipe cleaners to um, put this together so you can see what I'm doing with it. Okay, I'm going to get one ready and two ready. If you guys could share this, I would much appreciate it. And then do you guys, I know... Um, a lot of people ask me about how I make my wreath forms. Do you guys want me to show you how to do that as well tonight? I can do that also. Okay, so for this bow, we are going to um, use the center. And one, two, three is going to be all one and a half, and they're going to be single. And then row four, five, and six, we're going to do two and a half inch ribbon and they're going to be pulled together okay so just go in here all right now i know i probably do this weird but this is just how i do it so we are going to use streamers on this so let me cut a dovetail okay all right, so again, this is going to be using streamers. So I know I probably do. I, that's a little rough. I have to sand that down a little bit. It's pulling on my ribbon. So what I do to start mine, and this is just me. Yes, I cut them because I like the height of them. I don't know. I'm weird. So what I'm going to do is I just take it and gather it together for the center peg. And I'm going to wrap my wire around and get that nice and tight, which I'm hoping I can do with using this. Okay. Then again, you take your top wire and this, your first wire is basically just to get your bow started. Then you take your top wire and wrap it clockwise around your peg. And you take the bottom one and you wrap it, whoops, you wrap it around this little um, nail here. I don't know if you guys can see that nail. Okay, and tuck it under. Move this bow out of the way. Okay. And then we're going to dovetail the ends. Okay. Then you take your tails. Oh, yay, yes. You, I'm telling you, you will love the Pro Bow. 
and you just tuck them to the top. Okay, so now you have a loop and two tails. All right, then you take your helping hand wire, and again, you put it in the center of this loop. You take it to the right of the peg, find the center, and you pull it around to the back. Okay, do you guys see that? Bring it in a little bit, see if I can get you guys a little closer here. Okay, so again, you just want to bring it in through here, bring it around the right side and to the back, and then you just tie it off one time. Now, I made them. I just cut them. I don't know. I just like the taller ones, but I do need to sand these pegs a little bit. Okay, so that is the first one, okay? And again, these are all going to be single. So I'm going to take my next one and a half inch. I'm going to dovetail the end. Okay. And then you measure it out to the C and you pinch it together. I feel like you guys can't see that. Pinch it together. You lay it against here. You bring your tail up here. Then you wrap it around this peg. Gather it. Hey Janet, how are you? And twist. And you bring it around this peg. Gather it. And now you tie it off. And you just again bring the top wire down, the bottom wire up, and twist one time. And then I'm going to cut this off because we're done with that. Okay, so now we have a loop, two tails, and two tails and two loops. All right. Then we're going to get our next ribbon, which is this two-sided ribbon. I love that. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, and we are going to dovetail the end of that. Again, take it out to the C and gather it together. Put your tail up here. Hold it there. And you're going to put your loop there. Hey, Pramila, how are you? I hope I pronounced that right. From India, welcome. Gather it. And now, this is a good one that you can see. If I don't do that twist, this is what happens. You see how it's now silver on that side? And it's supposed to be gold. So if you don't do that twist... You're not going to have the nice side. Well, in this ribbon, it doesn't matter, but you're not going to have the nice side of your ribbon facing up. And then gather it and twist. Okay. And then just one twist because you don't want this center. Well, I'm getting off. I'm getting all off all center. Okay. Hi, Annette. How are you? And then I'm going to dovetail this. And then bring the tail here. Okay. So now we have our three. Now I'm going to use the pink again. Now you can use a fourth color. I'm just going to use the pink. I like the pink. It's going to add a little color. Okay. All right, so I'm, again, do the same thing. It's really basically the same process over and over and over again. It's just getting used to your hand placement, your pinch and twist. That's the most important. Pinch it and twist. And wrap it around the finger. And pinch. And twist and then we're done with that color so I'm going to tie it off okay all right okay so that is the top of the chateau bow and hey Reba how are you welcome 
it's just the opposite of the Damon bow. Whereas the Damon bow, you pulled, excuse me, three ribbons together. These are three ribbon or three ribbons separately. Okay, so now we're going to do the bottom part. And the bottom part pulls all three ribbons together this time. Okay, so I'm going to get my ribbons all together here and stack them nicely. So we have the snowflake ribbon. We have the gold ribbon with the dots. Okay. Oh, thanks, Sue. So. Okay. And then we have our Christmas tree ribbon. Okay. All right. So they're stacked nicely. We want to dovetail the ends here. Okay, now sometimes when you're using more than one ribbon like this, it is um, kind of hard to hold on to it. Um, Kathy, I'm using pipe cleaners just so everyone can really see the wires because a lot of people struggle with how to do the wires and that kind of stuff. So I'm just using the pipe cleaners so you can see them. And then you're going to gather all three of them together and tuck those in. And I am going to tie this off since there's three of them. Okay. Tie it off. All right. And then you want to make sure that these stay nicely together. That little tail out. Yeah, it just kind of shows up better than the wire. I think sometimes you can't really see the wire. So I'm just using it for demonstration purposes only. I use wire when I make my bows. Again, you're going to pinch and twist. Yeah, it's just so they can just so they can um, see it better. Okay, and bring it here and you're going to pinch. Oops. Make sure it's stacked nicely. Pinch and twist. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this off. It's up to you how often you tie it off, but you just want to do the one um, twist because otherwise the wires will get too bulky. Thanks, Kathy. And put it around this peg. Just going to pull one more ribbon out there. Okay. And then again, you're just pinching and twisting. And that's really all there is to it. And it just is the same process. No matter what bow you use, it's just the same process. My ribbon stuck there. And wrap it around this one. Whew. Got a little crazy there. Okay. So then you just, again, pinch it and twist. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this off. <clears throat> and make sure your ribbons are layered nicely. And just wrap it on this finger. Hey, Tracy, how are you? Yeah, I mean, there is a learning curve to it. It's not hard. You just, it's practice. Just get a bunch of, you know, not cheap ribbon, but ribbon you don't mind, you know, working with and practicing with and doing over and over again. And just pinch and twist. Wrap it around. Make sure it's stacked nicely. Okay, pinch it and I'm going to tie it off here. All right, and then I'm going to make sure it's stacked nice. Yes, you want to get good ribbon. I mean, when you're practicing. Mm, you can get away with cheap ribbon, like this ribbon is Michael's, and it's kind of cheap. 
So you can use it, but you kind of want to stack it in other <laughs> ribbon. Oh, thanks, Antoinette. All right, so I'm going to again do it against this one and dovetail. Okay, now what I want to show you guys is do you see how right here I'm kind of keeping this in a row here? Okay, so you kind of want to keep that nicely stacked. So these are my helping hand wires. I'm going to, um, <laughs> there you go, Kathy, get on it. I'm going to just twist those together. And again, this is just something I do. Some people cut the helping hand wires off. I use it to attach them to my um, wreath. Okay, then you want to untwist this one. And again, you want to always check and make sure that there's nothing around there. Okay. Yeah, it can be hard if you get really bad ribbon. And then you want to, when you do this, pull really hard. You see how that's pulling that bow together? Pull it and do it. Okay, so now this is the Chateau Bow. Okay, now again, to take it off of your Pro Bow, you just want to remove this center peg. It just makes it so the bow just slides right off. All right, and then let me move this out of the way. And this is what it looks like again. Now, I made my tails pretty long. I like, um, what are you pulling? I'm pulling the wires, Kathy. Yes, you have to make sure. That's why I always slide my finger down there and make sure that you're pulling that, um, that you make sure you get it all untwisted. Okay, and again... You just put it on, you slide it like this, lift the bow up so it's standing up, and then wrap around that peg. Which that one's not long enough. Okay, and then you just fluff. And this is not holding it really well. Hey, Bonisa, how are you? Or Bonessa, sorry. <laughs> All right, now remember we have the three tails. Okay, and then we're just going to start separating the same way we did the other one. Oh, yes, Meta, you got to get it out and do it, girl. You can do it. Okay, I don't know, maybe I'm in too tight there. Okay, and then just keep doing that. And I'm going to pull the snow one over here. Hey, Reba, how are you? The gold over here. Not there. Okay. And then one more. No, it's because it's the pipe cleaners because it's just not holding it like it normally does but okay and then you do want to kind of put your fingers in there and kind of fluff out that bow as you go along now see that's not even half the bow yet and look how nice and full that is all right so then you have the single ones i'm going to pull the streamer over here the bow over here and i'm going to pull this here here and then that's the center one okay so that's half of your bow and look how full that is I just like the way this that the bottom is fuller on this bow and then you're just going to do the same thing over here and just keep fluffing Okay. 
And when you use the wire, you can really yank it. It's not going to move and just makes it so much easier. Okay. This bow is the Chateau bow. Yeah, I like it too. I just like that it's fuller on the bottom. Okay. And then you have the top part again. Now here's your three tails that you started with. Separate them out. Okay, and then pull this tail over here, this one here. Pull this here. Okay, and then you have that center one there. Now, a lot of my tails are really long. And what I will do is I will just go and trim them up a little bit. I tend to make them long. You can always shorten them. But I don't know. I just always start out with them nice and long. And then kind of make them short. Um, is, is it on the site where the probo.com is? Is what, is what on the site, Reba? Okay, now you can leave your tails longer if you want to. You can, you know, cut them shorter. It's totally up to you. I just kind of like to trim them up a little bit. Okay, cut this one a little bit more. Okay. All right, so this is the Chateau Bow. Now let me show you the difference. Um, I don't. I'm not sure if it is or not, Reba. Okay, let me get this out of the way and I will show you the difference. Okay, so now this is the Chateau Bow, where the fullness is on the bottom. And this is the Damon Bow, where the fullness is on the top. I just like the look of the Chateau Bow a little better. That's just my personal preference. Um, I don't know. I just like it. Hey, Mary Ellen, how are you? Okay. So that's two bows so far. So again, this is the Chateau bow. This is the Damon bow. All right. Now, take a break from that real quick. I want to show you some signs. I think I showed you guys these the other day. Just want to show you some from the crazy chicken ladies wreaths. This one I'm going to make. I love this one. I think I'm going to do this maybe tomorrow or Saturday. Um, it's uh, Noelle. Now she can customize any of the signs. I asked for her to do it in teal. Um, so she can put Noelle. She can put, let me see, there's another one. That's the same that she did with my initial of my last name. So um, these are two. They're two different, you know, little ornaments. And then she has the Santa face. And what I love about the Santa face that it's unique is it has, um, you can see it really well, it has the fake snow, so it gives it some depth and texture to it. So she has the Santa face. And then here is a fall one that says, Happy Fall, y'all. She can customize these um, pretty much. Yeah, I have that coming up. Um she has this little boot. Again, you can put anything on here. She just left this blank. You can put your last name up here. You can do whatever you want. And then this is the one that um, Marty's talking about with the joy. I think she, I forget, she made another one that's similar to this. Um, but this is the joy sign. And then she made this one that says, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. Um, let me pull her. Let me pull her up and see here. Hold on. Let me get her. Let me get her site here. And then I will pull her up and um, 
her site on here. Oops. CRA. <laughs> I can't do it. There we go. Okay, so this is her page. All right, so there we go. That's where um, I got these signs from. And um, yeah, it's really, you'll, you'll love them. And she's great to work with. And like I said, she can, I like more vertical signs. So I've asked her to make me some more vertical signs for the wreath. So you want to do that and um, make sure I got that right. Oh, there we go. She, and she's on here. It's Jackie. So if you guys have any questions or um, ideas of some signs that you want to see made, let her know and she can help you with that. Okay, you're welcome, Jackie. All right, now, should I do, should I make my own work wreath now, or do you guys want to see another bow before we do the work wreath? Let me know what you guys want to see next, another bow or the work wreath. I know. Isn't the teal pretty? I love it. All right. Um, so did you guys decide a bow or the work wreath? The bow? Okay. The wreath. <laughs> one for wreath, one for bow. Let's get some of this glitter off of here because you guys know glitter is everywhere. Okay. I will do more bows. But um, let's go ahead and show you guys how to make a work, work wreath real quick. Where is my... Okay. So now this is just how I do them. You guys can choose to do them any way you want. But we will do a bow, another bow in a minute. Take a break from the bows. I get my frames from the Dollar Tree. Okay. And this is what I do. I use this bar here. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Welcome. And I put a full pipe cleaner here and a partial pipe cleaner here and a full pipe cleaner here. I'll just do one real quick to show you guys what I do. Welcome, Debbie. I'm glad you found us. So I just take and I cut a pipe cleaner in half. Okay. And we'll get back to our bow in a minute. Oh, I know, Antoinette. It really does. <laughs> I know, right, Esty? Oh, come on, because you know we're all ribbon whores. That's what my neighbor calls me, a ribbon whore, because I love my ribbon. And you guys know, you get addicted. So what I... Hey, Jennifer, welcome. So what I do is I take my full pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and I put it in this crossbar. Now, you don't have to use glue if you don't want to. I just put a little dab here. And I glue that in. Okay. And then this is where the half pipe cleaner comes in. Oh, thank you very much. The half pipe cleaners, I do not put my streamers in. Because I just think it's so much ribbon. And they kind of overlap. Okay, I put my half pipe cleaner there. Dab a little glue and put that there. So now we have a full pipe cleaner here and a half pipe cleaner here. Then I take another full pipe cleaner, fold it in half. I put it on the third rung here. So this is the inner, second, third, and fourth. I put it um, in the middle here on the third row. And I kind of just eyeball it in between these two frames the bracket okay I just put it there and add a little dab of glue all right 
So that's what I um, that's what I do. And then I just go around and I do the same thing. Now some people do them differently and it's totally up to you. You can do yours any way you want. That's just kind of how I've chosen to do it. It just works well for me. So that's what I do. Yeah, and this way they don't slip around. I put them on that center bracket and it just works really well. Oh, thanks, Venus. <coughs> I got that from Amazon. If you look on my page, I have it, um, my supplies I use. I do have an affiliate link for that if you guys are interested in the glue gun. Okay. So that's basically all I do. Um, how many do I use? I use six around the top, full pipe cleaners, and then I use half, six half around the bottom, and I use six full around the bottom. Now, I do put the mesh in all of the pipe cleaners. The only thing I don't do is I don't put my ribbon streamers in the um, half pipe cleaners. I just think they're so close to each other, they kind of get lost. And you don't really see all of, you know, it's just so much. So, and that's just my opinion. I think it's kind of a waste of ribbon because there's so much of it. So I don't put, I put mesh in the half pipe cleaners. I just don't put the ribbon streamers in it. So when I'm doing them, I do, you know, mesh in each of them. But I only do the ribbon in the full pipe cleaners. And again, that's just a preference I have. You can totally do what you want to do. Um, I just kind of like how it looks using doing it that way. All right. And that's all you do. And, you know, this glue hardens pretty quick, so... Really, I kind of, I do this, and then I will go and, like, I'll cut my ribbon streamers or something like that. And by the time you come back, you know, the glue is hard and you're good to go. And like I said, you don't even have to use glue if you don't want to. I just add a little dab of it so it kind of keeps them in place. And that's just something I've kind of started to do. Um... This is a 14 inch um, form, box form, and it's from the Dollar Tree. So I just get my pipe cleaner, well, some of my pipe cleaners I get there, not all of them because they don't have all the colors. But I like these rather than the work forms because then, you know, when you have work forms, you have to have, you know, all the colors or something like that. But I kind of do it this way, then I can make my own, I can add my own color pipe cleaners, whatever. I want to do. And the, this, this doesn't take long to do. And you guys see it's only taking a couple minutes. And you have your work form done. And they don't have to be perfect. I mean, it doesn't have to be like, you know, you don't have to measure it out and make sure it's exact and that kind of stuff. So, oh, good, Debbie. I'm glad you like it. Guys, go check out my Etsy shop. I've got lots of wreaths on there. Okay, so I just have one more to go after this, and then the form is done. And we'll make another bow. Okay, last one here. And that's all there is to it. Okay, all right, get this out of the way. Okay, and then that's that's my wreath form. Like I said, that's just, oops, hot glue finger. Um, it's just how I do it. I think it works great. Um, you know, if you can come up with something you like better, that's great too. So, all right, let me put that to the side. Get this out of the way. And then I will show you. 
see if I can find my pegs. Uh, where's my other pegs? I'm trying to find the small pegs because I wanted to show you guys the smallest bow you can make on here. But of course, like I said, I just rearranged and I don't know where I put my pegs. So I can't show you that one. Sorry. Hey, Marlene, how are you? All right, so let me show you this single ribbon bow. Okay, now for the single ribbon bow, I use this bow on my um, candy canes. And you don't need all of these, so let me get these out of the way. You just need the center peg and the two, one and two. Okay, now when I do the candy cane ones, I bring it into row B because you don't need a huge bow on that. So I'm going to pull that in. All right. Let's see. What ribbon? Let's use another ribbon. Let's use this red. That's something a little different. Okay. So, let me get this ready. Now I'll show you. I will do a wire on this one so you guys can see what I normally do. Okay, so when I do my wires, I usually make them, and again, I usually make mine long, probably about 26, 27 inches. Okay, cut it off, fold it in half. But there. Now, for this bow, you are going to take your ribbon, you're going to gather it about a thumb's length. You're going to wrap your ribbon or your wire around the gather part there, if I can get myself together. Okay, and just wrap a couple times. Okay, and you're going to have one wire up and one wire down. Okay, then you're going to take your wire and you're going to wrap it around the center peg coming around to the right. Oh, that is a good idea. Because <laughs> I do, I have little cheat sheets for my, um, for my bows. So, because, you know, if you don't make them all the time, you don't remember what they are. Okay, so. Wrap it around there again. You're going to take this wire and you're going to clockwise around this center peg. That is a good idea, Johnny. Okay, and then take the bottom wire and wrap it around this nail on the bottom just one time and slide it underneath your board. Okay, so now let me see if you guys can see that. All right. Okay, just holding it there. Then again, you do the exact same thing all of the time. You just take it, gather it, thumbs up. Now, this is a single ribbon bow. And what you're going to do is you're going to wrap this around here one time, finger number one, three times on each side. And, and on finger number two, you're going to do five times. So. Wrap it once and gather and twist. Wrap it once. That is a great idea. Okay, so that's one. Pinch and twist, and you just go right over the same peg, okay? You just take your ribbon and take it right over that finger, and that's two, okay? And see, I let go. I'm not even holding on to this back here. Pinch and twist. And again, you're going to take it right over the same peg. And that's two on that side. I'm going to pinch and twist. And this is three on this side. Okay. 
All right, and then you're going to pinch and twist, and your third one over here. So now you have it on the center peg. You have it wrapped around one time. The um, finger number one, you have it on three on each side. Now you're going to go to finger number two, and you're going to wrap these each five times. So again, you're just going to pinch, twist, and that's one on each peg. I'm going to pinch, twist. You're going to do your second one, second one on this peg. Pinch, twist. Second one on this peg. Pinch, twist. Number three. Pinch, twist, number three over here. And look, you can let go of that. You don't have to hold it. Okay, so that's what's great about this. Your hands don't get cramped. If you get a phone call, you can walk away. You can just leave it. No problem at all. And if you forget how many, you just count them. So I did three on each side. So we have two more to go on each side. So that's four on that side. Please share this with your friends. Four on this side. So we have one more to go. Okay, bring that up here. Make sure it's twisted good. Okay, this is number five on there. And here's the fifth one over here. Okay, now. You want tails. Oh, yeah, it's really easy to do. So when you want tails, all you need to do is I'm going to untwist this. I'm going to pull this off. Remember, make sure you have everything off. You want to stick your finger down there to make sure that there's nothing there. I'm going to tie it off. Whoops, it's on my shirt. Now, so say you want tails on this bow. Now, this applies for any bow. So if you want two tails, you just however long you want the tails to be. And you just pinch it here. Bring the bottom wire, top wire down, the bottom wire up. But say you want four, right? So you just do, again, measure how long you want the tail to be. And bring it in here. Okay. So that is it, all right? Now, I'm gonna use five tails. So I'm gonna take all of these tails, I'm going to fold them in half, and I'm gonna dovetail them all together. Okay, so now you have five tails on that bow. You can add as many tails, and as long as you want, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Now again, you wanna take that center peg out, it makes it very easy to get your bow off and you just pull it off, okay? So then we'll fluff that out and show you what that looks like. So see how this bow looks, see? It's the same way as all the other ones. We'll get in our little fluff box here. Okay, we're gonna take our wires. Okay, we're gonna wrap it around this, bring your bow up. And as tight as you can get that wire here, wrap it around. So that holds that bow in place. Now, you can put your streamers anywhere you want them. If you want to separate them all like that, you can. If you want them all to the front, you can do them all to the front. It's totally up to you. And then you just start pulling out the five on the bottom. Okay, so there's your five on the bottom. Then this is the one we did three, so you're going to pull out the three. Oh, let me separate, or pull them this way. Hey Anna, how are you? Okay. And then you have that one in the center. Okay, then you're going to turn it around. 
Yes, always use wired ribbon. Yes, 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 yes. Again, you're going to separate your five. And I love this little bow. I use this on a lot of things, too. But always use wired ribbon. Okay, and here's your three. Isn't that a great little bow? Okay, now you can do this with, you know, a two and a half inch ribbon, um, or one and a half inch, or a four inch. It doesn't matter. But that's your little one ribbon bow. But look how cute that is. Right? Like I said, you can pull the tails to, you know, all to the front. You can use one tail, two tails. Um, no, Melba, the, the, um, fluff box you have to buy separately. Okay? So that is the single ribbon bow. Isn't that the cute bow? That's great. All right, so that's that one. Whoop! Whoa! That one wanted to go for a ride. All right, but yeah, I, I use this, um, on a bunch of different things. You know, if you want a smaller bow... This is perfect for that. So that is, let me see. Now, one more. Um, let's see. Oh, the whimsical bow. I wanted to show you guys this. I haven't made this one before. So that's the single bow. So we'll put that one up there. All right. The whimsical bow. Now... Hey, Dora. Yes, it would be perfect for that, Norma. Yep. Okay, the whimsical bow. You just use the center peg. And use it on row E. Okay, so this is all you use. You use three one and a half inch ribbons and three two and a half inch ribbons. And what you do is you oh thanks sd <laughs> um you let me change up my ribbons here get this out of the way sorry guys gotta clean up a little bit all right so when you're doing this you want your you want a two and a half then a one and a half and this is on the first one. And then a two and a half. So on your first um, ribbon holder here, you're going to have two and a half, one and a half, two and a half. On your second one, you're going to have one and a half, two and a half, one and a half. Because you're going to pull all these together at the same time. So this... We'll see how this goes. I've never made one of these before, guys, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, so then what you do is you pull all your ribbon together. So you have a two and a half. Then you have your one and a half. You're going to stack them together. And your other two and a half here. Get this together. I know I love my pro, but hey, Marva! doing Miss Marvela Marva? Marvelous Marva. So you're stacking them the two and a half, one and a half, two and a half. I'm going to get my one and a half. I kind of want to keep them stacked here. And then two and a half. And then the last one is the one and a half. Okay, so you're stacking all six ribbons together. Now, all you do for the... Oh, I should have cut my wire. No, you don't have to make it, uh, Melba. You can buy one. She has on her site, probothehand.com. Um, she sells them there. But you can also, if you'd like to, you can make your own. I just found it was easier to make my... Oops, there is my ribbon. It was just easier to make my own because they're so heavy. 
that um, shipping would be a lot. All right, I lost a ribbon. Okay, here we go. All right, you're no bother. Okay, so then we have all of them stacked together. All right, so then all you're going to do is take it and wrap it around. And this is kind of hard to do. Like I said, I've never done this before, but we're learning together. And you're going to wrap it around your peg here. And you have your tails as long as you want them. I always make mine long. Yes, probothehand.com. Yep. And then all you do, kind of try and make sure that they're stacked nicely. My stacks got kind of wonky. All right. Then you just take it and you tie it off. Okay, you can gather it together here and wrap your wire around here. Okay, one up, one down. Yeah, Amazon does have the Pro Bow, but they don't sell the um, fluff box. I don't think last time I checked. All right, so you just wrap that around there a couple times, okay? And then you cut your tails, and that's the bow. So, stack it again to cut your tails, all right? Let's get these done. Okay. Okay. So then all you do now, they say before you take it off of here, kind of want to start to um, separate your tails here. Yeah, I think the um, the Pro Bow you kind of have, or the um, fluff box you have to get that from Regina. But like I said, she does give you directions on how to make it as well. Okay. Okay. Now, this is what, you just pull it off, and then, you really, you don't even need the fluff box for this. You just pull your tails all different ways. And then you just start separating them. They call this the whimsical bow. care for it <laughs> but that's just me I mean I don't think there's really a whole lot to it but the um, the link to the pro bell is right there let me I'll get it again for you There you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really loving this whimsical bow, but just me. I'm sure you can really play with it a little more. And hmm. Yeah, not really digging it. Not really much to it. So... I don't know. Not liking that one. Okay. All right. Do you guys want to see any more? Let's see what else we got here. Oh, it's 8.30 already. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, see, I have my little cheat sheets here. I write everything down, and I... Um, kind of practice with it. I think that's it. So let me pull this up here. 
get it back. All right. So do you guys have any questions on anything? Anything I didn't explain enough for you? Um, yeah, the Probo, you have to go to, let me see, ProboTheHand.com. I think the um, ProboTheHand.com is where you have to get the fluff box. Yeah. So, you have any other questions? Anything I can answer for you guys? Oh, don't forget. Let me show you Jackie's signs again. Let me get this out of the book. Running out of space here, guys. You want to buy my cheat sheets? <laughs> if I can figure out how to print them nicely, like how to type them up and print them, I will do that, Johnny. Um, on the single ribbon bow, I used one and a half inch ribbon, but you can do two and a half inch ribbon. You can do four inch ribbon. It's totally up to you. Can you get my cheat sheet? I'll work on that. I will see if I can, I can um, figure out how to print them so you guys can understand them. I don't know if you'll understand them the way I do them. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I understand them because I write them out, but... Um, cause what I do is like, I write everything out. You guys see that I write everything out, like how they're done. And then I also have like approximately how much ribbon that each one uses. So I don't know. That's just something I do for myself, but yeah, the Probo, she does have what's called, um, ribbon recipes on her site, um, for different bows that she did. I know they're on there. Um, I know, right, Pearl? I will. I'll try to find, I'll try to figure it out. Oh, awesome. Are you going to make one of those um, cats? Yeah, because I use the bunny ears for, um, oh, thanks, Johnny. I use the bunny ears for Easter bunnies I make. Oh, I want to show you guys something. So, I need your opinion. So, I'm going to make this um, Santa I got from Jackie, right? But I'm kind of trying to think outside the box, okay? I'm trying to, you know, do something a little different rather than the deco mesh, blah, 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 blah. So I have three different options that I want to ask you guys about. So I have this. Um, I know you guys saw me do the, um, or the Grinch with the Boas. So what I'm thinking is either A, do the boas for his beard and his hair. Can you guys see that? No. You guys can't see that. All right. So I'm thinking either the, um, the boas and doing it around. Oh, thanks, Bessie. You know, is the hair. Or I also have this um, yarn. And if you kind of gather it, and wrap it around the frame. Where's my little frame at? Here. I kind of wrap it around the frame. It'll kind of look like, you know, like that. Okay. Or, and I made a Grinch like this, but I don't think I did it live. This is like pom-pom ribbon or pom-pom yarn. I can get it out. And... It would kind of, you know, look like that. I think this kind of looks like snow. I did a snowman with this, and I really like it. So I'm trying to decide which one I should try, just for something different, rather than doing the um, deco mesh on them. So what do you guys think? You guys think I should try this? Kind of looks like it's feathers, but it kind of looks like a beard, I think. I think it does. The pom-pom yarn. Or this one. The bows. Oh, put make bows. Pom-pom. Yeah, I did a, um, a Grinch in the pom-pom, and it turned out really cute. In fact, I sold it. 
Um, but I think that would be cute. Yeah. So I was kind of debating between these two. Because I think this one's really cute too. The boa. Oh, the boa. Sorry. <laughs> I know I only have one face where I would do two and show you guys. But all right. Well, stay tuned. You like the pom-pom? The pom-pom or the um, boa? Remember, you guys, I made that Grinch with that bow. Whew, there was feathers everywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I think that would look cute, too, with the boas. I think it looks like it, don't you? Don't you think it kind of looks like a beard? So then I would have to, you know, I would do it all the way around and then make a hat some way. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do that. I like, I like both of them, though. I think I'm going to have to, because I know I have other Santa faces, but I like Jackie's the best because I like her, um, I like, I just like that, you know, it's textured. It's really cool. Well, what I would do, um, Marlene, is, um, I, and I did it before, I just wrap the frame before I attach his head. Oh, yeah, this is hard to do. Um, I tried it on one. It's a pain, but it does kind of look cute, but it takes a lot. But the bow is I would just wrap it around to cover the frame like that. I'll show you guys. I think I'll do, um, I'll try this one first. Try one of them. Yeah, but I would, it would have to go around the whole thing. So we'll see. Maybe we'll do this tomorrow during the day. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for helping me decide. Thanks for popping on here tonight, guys. I hope um, that you guys learned something. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to go check out um, Jackie Signs. And um, I think that's it. Hey, Mabel. That's it for me for tonight. Please share this video with your friends if you would. I'd appreciate it. Go check out my um, Etsy shop and my YouTube page. And I will see you guys soon. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. And I'll be talking to you later. Um, I was just going to say I think I'm going to do one tomorrow, um, Jennifer. Oh, if you don't, if you don't already get alerts when I go live, make sure you type in live. And um, thanks, Marlene. Type in live, and then you have to type live to the message that you get. But if you don't already get alerts from me, type in live, and then you will we'll receive alerts each time I go live. So make sure you do that. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.